I bought a pop shield, so that means I can say plosives without worrying that I'm gonna um, cause a peak. Um, I don't think anyone cares, but let's carry on. This is the Jazz Violin Podcast, and this episode is again sponsored by Shirtler. Shirtler make string instrument amplifiers and... Um, pickups and preamps. Hey, I'm saying all the plosives now. Uh, they are really good and they are my favorite manufacturer of pickups. I've been using the Stat V for a long time and it is my favorite pickup. The, f the best pickup I ever used um, on a violin. Um, and many, they also make things for guitars. Um, Actually, I haven't mentioned that yet, but they make some great contact mics and pickups for guitars. The little things that you stick on, the DYN range, yeah? You stick them on with putty onto the instrument. You can get that for violin as well, but you get that, you know, they've got some really good things for guitars and mandolins, things like that. So if anybody is a uh, another sort of string instrument uh, or instrumentalist, yeah, they make some great things for everybody. Um, hardly any feedback, um, if any at all. Um, for great for loud environments and a really nice tone all round. Okay, so we're on episode seven, and our guest this month is Alexandra Tripodi. Um, ah, I've just set my Alexa off um, by saying that name. Oop, be quiet. Yeah, so. Um, Alexandra is a violinist and viola player who um, plays regularly with Charlenberger's uh, group Les Violons de Bruxelles. Um, my pronunciation on that is um, more than 100% definitely wrong, but there we go. Um, but yeah, he plays with them along with Char a three violin um, band and they are really really good also Alexandra plays with um, Fappy Lafferton in Fappy's new quartet um, they have just been recording um, he's really interesting and has a lot to say about learning jazz violin um, actually some of the most interesting points um, and some of the points that I've uh, agreed with the most on this podcast I really like his approach and I really like his playing as well he's a really nice guy um, here we go <laughs> Actually, I think, do we not have this? I saw from a video of you playing with Fappy that, that you use the same microphone as me. Are you using the, uh, the LRM GA project? One. Oh, wait. The, which, which mic? The G, GA project. R1 Active MK3. Uh, no? No. Uh, it's, uh, ah. Is it the, 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 the guitar mic? It's a ribbon mic. Ah, ribbon mic. Oh, okay. It, it probably looks like the the mic you you're referring to, which I don't know. Right. But it's a. Um, right. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, essentially, it's a guy that builds them. Uh, he orders parts right. in China, and 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 the quality is so so great that we we actually recorded a, a CD with Fappy, and I prefer that one to the AEA. Ah. Uh, whatever number it it is, the 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 right. sort of ribbon. I end ribbon. 
uh, mic. Okay. So yeah. that one is called L LRM1. And actually, there's, a, there's uh -huh. a better version of it, which we use in that video, if I'm, if, um, which is the black one. The design is totally different, but actually the, 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 the result is better because uh, the, 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 yeah, it's better, basically. Okay. It's a bit better. Oh, well. It doesn't look as good. I thought it was the same one. It did look very similar. Yeah. But I mean, my, I think mine will be probably a lot cheaper than yours. No, no. Yeah, actually, those mics, those mics are, are extremely cheap. Actually, ah, it's like okay. it's like uh, yeah. 150 euros for one. Yeah. So. Right. Okay. And and in my opinion, for violin, they they, they or for my violin, or maybe for my taste of what a violin yeah. should sound like, they they're better mm -hmm. than than the high end uh, ribbon mic. Okay. Right. Like Royer mm. or okay. uh, AEA. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Hey, so maybe we can start by just talking about how you how you started playing music, and how you started playing okay. yeah, uh, violin. Well, it's funny because I I, I, I had my little Madeleine de Proust, as we say in French, moment with that. Uh, so so basically, my 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 family is sons of uh, children of a uh, Italian immigrant in Belgium, and so there's no musician in my family as far as I know and as right. far as I could go back, and so. Mm -hmm. Uh, when uh, like Walkman started to 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 be sold on the market, my parents bought me one with a cassette. Okay. Um, La Chèvre de Monsieur Soga, uh, and it was actually a musical, which they didn't know. They they, they thought it was just a, a story with a narrator and just a story, but actually uh -huh. it was heavily uh, musical with singing and uh, arrangement, and. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was listening to that cassette on my own a lot of the time. And, and I, sometimes I would insist that they would play that cassette, but they, I assume they, they became really bored with it because I was always wanting to, to play it. And once they've stopped the tape, and then I continued singing the whole thing <laughs> by heart. <laughs> Melodies and or yeah. orchestral parts. It was probably not not a good interpretation i assume but <laughs> but it got them thinking oh may maybe the maybe that kid should do some music stuff so they brought me to the music school uh i started piano then yeah. uh then <laughs> it's actually funny because i started piano and they would put little signs on the on the uh, on the keys for mm -hmm. kids to remember which keys to hit and I, w yeah. I remember being really upset because I like, if you're going to put a sign, at least put the number so we know in, ch in which order to, to play them. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's why I decided to quit piano <laughs> on the very right. first year. <laughs> so they were like, yeah, but maybe you should do another instrument. They brought me in a, in a classroom full, full of other kids, maybe six or seven year old, playing together awfully. Yeah. And to their... To their consternation i said yeah that's what i want to do <laughs> and they were <laughs> horrified because this was like yeah. you know kids beginner Sounds playing terrible. all together uh, yeah yeah so so that that was it and uh, then i i just followed the the, the normal courses um mm -hmm. I was pretty unaware of what the musical world was. For me, it was just like going to school, but I would play violin uh, with someone. And sure, yeah. And, and I only started to get really curious uh, as a teenage. Uh, and then I started to, to get into like rock. Like I, I, really, mm -hmm. I, I was uh, really fond of uh, Nirvana and Led Zeppelin. Started to play mm -hmm. electric guitar. Uh, mm -hmm. Then eventually met some other guys from another schools that were playing rock, uh, but soon enough they started to be interested in jazz, and they told me, yeah. "Look, uh, but essentially you're not a, a good enough guitar player, uh, <laughs> but but just pick the violin because you can play the violin." And and eventually I stick with them, and they became my closest friends to this day, mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're both jazz men, uh, professional musicians. Right. So the guitarist uh, was Quentin Liégeois, 
Uh, okay. He's not that well known. He, he's a bit, to me, he's a bit the René Thomas of his generation. You know, he prefers to. What does that mean? Well, René Thomas, Sonny Rollins w- would want to really play with René Thomas. He's a he's a, a, a guitarist from Liège, awesome guitarist. Ah. Uh, but the guy just wanted to live uh, a quiet life with his family. Yeah. So so okay, Sonny yeah. Rollins picked Jim Hall to replace him. Yeah. So. Uh, and uh, so he is well known in Belgium. It is not. He's, he, I guess you you wouldn't know about him, but he is to okay. me is is a fantastic player. And and I don't think I I say that because I owe him so so much in my life or musically. But just 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 his his playing is is uh, is amazing. Like he, mm-hmm. he, for me for me is 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 one of the greats actually. Right, I do think yeah, it's okay. really common for really great musicians to 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 be left in the dark. Uh, may, maybe not so much so now because of the internet and everything is de- decentralized and one can post a video in 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 Hawaii and and, yeah. and create a fan in uh, in Istanbul. So yeah, but, it's yeah. true. But then if you don't like that stuff, if you don't like the internet, which is quite a lot of people who don't then yeah. that can be that's to your true. detriment. That's true, it? that's true, yeah. Because you one can't post, but the, the the actual difficulty is to be heard, which is yeah a totally different problem. But at least the filter mm. is a bit further down the road, I guess, nowadays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, should I continue? <laughs> and just yeah, continue, it? man. Yeah, so... so I my parents wanted to, me to go to a new university because in their view I was finally the generation who could afford uh to do that I mean financially mm-hmm. uh So I was like okay yeah sure I'll do that uh, I picked up something I really didn't like just because so basically I picked up I picked up law just because among all the things uh. that I knew uh, would allow me not to attend the, the lessons and be able to succeed if I studied intensely at the end of the year. Uh, there were many of them like psychology or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, my parents thought that that's, that was a good, a good pick because it, it would enable me to have a, a good job and sort of, yeah. you know. Like but you wanted to do it so you didn't have to go to the lectures. Yeah, so I could basically <laughs> play violin in my room or, you know, yeah. go to jam sessions, party with my friends, go to Brussels and meet my buddies. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. what I did. And those buddies, they were in the conservatory, so the, the music university in Belgium. Um, yeah. And I discovered that that's what I really wanted to do. Eventually, uh, I quit university. Uh-huh. Uh, and my parents were kind of devastated, but I was like, "Yeah, but I've I've done three years al- already. I can I can finish if turn I- if things turn bad." But uh-huh. uh, and then uh, so I went to Brussels, went to the conservatory, studied music, and um, was really interested at first. Re- really disappointed. Uh, in the later years but then i met uh cha uh-huh. and and from from that day he, he quickly become became a uh, a mentor or mm-hmm. someone that like show would show me the road because i i yeah uh, it's not that I wanted to copy him, or because that would be a bit too ambitious. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> but his his views on music, his way to play, uh, the 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 philosophy d- behind it, the the, yeah. the 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 motivation really. I think he really mm-hmm. he really he really plays music to give something to people, to touch people. Yeah. So that that to me was extremely uh, it was re- yeah I, I i didn't realize it like immediately but but more and more i started to realize it that yeah like th- this guy is 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 onto something i mean that's that's yeah. what i want to do basically 
that's that's the, yeah that's the that's the way <laughs> uh, yeah so you, uh, you'd say that cha cha is the way <laughs> yeah I, it's my way it's my way i don't think yeah. there's a way it's my way I, no I like no it, i like it that way uh is 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 he has so much integrity uh absolutely yeah yeah and uh also, there was this this magical moment. To to, to this day, it 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 still feels sur, uh, surnatural. Do do we say that in in English? Supernatural. Uh, su supernatural, exactly. So we were we were playing all sort of gigs uh, in bars in Brussels with uh, Christophe Astolfi, a uh, guitarist, who's now uh, mm -hmm. playing uh, in Paris. Uh, mm -hmm. And we happened to have this gig in a really crowded bar, full of it's late June, so full of teenagers. Like the, maybe yeah. the average average uh, was like seven, 17 years old or so, or maybe yeah. eighteen, drunk. And yeah. we're stuck in a corner. The place is extremely loud. We start to play. Chad doesn't want to play acoustic. Then he doesn't mm -hmm. want to play the guitar. He wants to accom accompany Christoph with two violins. <laughs> okay. So the whole thing starts to feel really messy and odd because the the, the yeah. guy the guy from the bar wants to absolutely to put a mic in front of cha and he right, says no yeah. i don't want to be amplified if if if, if i don't he, he still do, does believe and i i, I still do that the, the way to be heard is not to to be loud yeah and so we play a few tunes and it's it's really uncomfortable because nobody plays pays attention no 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 yeah uh, nobody is interested really and then eventually he starts singing a song yeah and the first table look the, the, the table just in front of him starts to be quiet then the two yeah. tables around and it's like uh, a forest fire. And in yeah. 10 seconds, the whole bar was silent. You could hear a, 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 a moss fly. And, <laughs> and to this day, this moment, I, even when I tell it, I, I'm like, was that really real? Because I still can't believe it, but I know it was real. <laughs> I, I yeah. was there. I, I, I'm not fabulating. I, I, I'm not. Yeah. But yeah, that's like, it's like a small anecdote of, of yeah what 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 convinced me that that uh yeah chaz way had to be my way or the way <laughs> yeah i mean i totally agree with you there uh the only th the only thing is that <laughs> this is maybe me being uh what is it looking for the other side of it but um do you not think that I even if someone who is really rubbish at singing just sang you know just it make it makes a difference to to people like you know who yeah. who, who are in yeah. bars if you were just to start singing yeah, in a yeah, bar yeah. that that yeah. is how you get people to be quiet the other the the added bonus with chai is that he's amazing and that yeah. he's got such yeah. musicality i do but, agree with that yeah. I, 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 <laughs> singing is the is the is the, the the closest closest pass to the heart of people yeah, people love it. You know, yeah, it really yeah, does yeah, does yeah, grab yeah. grab the heartstrings. Yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, I, I've been, I've watched Cha a bunch of times in gigs in London when mm -hmm. he's in been in a busy bar, mm -hmm. and he's just gone. He's just decided to sing, and then everyone shuts up, and mm -hmm. everyone's just like mm -hmm. spellbound by him. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't work if I did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But but in a crowded in a crowded bar w w full of teenage drunk people who yeah. <laughs> don't care about jazz, but it's it's just taking it to yeah. a, to, to a level that just feels so natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I, man. but I, I I can I can imagine you've you've lived similar experiences with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay, so carry on. That was a sort of was that meeting Char was when you sort of were were. We st you, is that when you started really practicing? Or were you oh practicing no, I was before practicing that? before, but 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 um, I it just felt like 
uh, I knew what what I wanted to do uh, with yeah. the violin as a musician in general. Uh -huh. It felt like basically it's, it, it, it was so inspiring that yeah. I, I would know that each time I would play my best, he would be around because I could hear him play. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> So, yeah. so that I guess he, he, he yeah, it, it, it's it's always go good to have uh, some sort of a uh, ideal or yeah a goal to strive to because there are so many ways to learn jazz. That's it's true. The the only path in 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 in, in my opinion uh, is to follow what you really love. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to if you study classical violin, well, there's a plan from A to Z. Mm -hmm. That's going to, yeah. and if you want to be a concertist, there's another plan. If you want to be uh, blah blah blah, there's another plan. But they, every everything yeah. has been studied for centuries, and you know, yeah. you know, you, you 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 there are stops along the way, and and but not many shortcuts. And whereas jazz is just yeah. too much of a, it's too big, <laughs> it's too big. So you have yeah. to, to make so many decisions, and especially it's with true. the violin, in my opinion, because the <coughs> Sorry, I have uh, <coughs> a little illness. <coughs> so, with violin, it feels to me like there's no mainstream. If you play trumpet, yeah. you'd be like, okay, I need to check Louis Armstrong. Then I would yeah. listen to Fats Navarro. Then uh, maybe uh, Clifford Brown. Blah yeah. blah blah. Winton Marsalis, if I pick uh, yeah. a contemporary one, and and there's a sort of a mainstream you can see with viol violin. It's not like that, not at all. It's hardly anything. Yeah. yeah. So so at the very there's lots first of gaps, aren't there? Sorry. Well, I'm just saying, like the in like there's sort of like lots of gaps in in the history of jazz violin. It's not like there's a consistent like one violinist then then the next in the next five years another violinist turned up in jazz and then another one if it feels like that you know out yeah. of all the big guys there's only about you know there's only about four of them <laughs> yeah people and sort there's of so follow. much and there's so much different there's so much yeah. different like yeah uh uh so so you have so sort of that problem or that mm. choice that's that's really 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 uh at the beginning of things so yeah. so it's it's even more uh you're on your own because no there's yeah. no there's no correct way to play jazz violin yeah there are yeah. many ways yeah. and it's up to you and and but the implications yeah. means that maybe falling one pass would just mean that you won't be able to play another style yeah always another sound uh if you yeah. if you if you feel like you, you what you like is a uh, uh playing acoustic violin uh mm -hmm. a la grappelli uh yeah then uh then maybe playing with drums is not going to be something you'll be able yeah. to do and uh, if uh, maybe if you play you play with an electric setup or piezo or whatever violin in mm -hmm. uh, electric violin maybe you could do that maybe maybe you you would be really uncom uncomfortable because the sound won't won't, won't inspire you mm -hmm. actually do believe yeah. that in that it that that way switching from acoustic to to electric is much more easier than the other way around for technical from reasons from acoustic to electric oh yeah totally yeah as but in if you're used to playing acoustic and then you suddenly have to play electric. Yeah. So there are ways to be stuck. So yeah. so so knowing what you really aim for, what you like, what you what what you want to sound like is really crucial and in that regard mm -hmm. Cha was was extremely enlightening for, for me because mm. I I was a bit lost before. Mm. Uh, before. No, I think maybe I feel like that that I could be quite similar to that actually. Yeah. As a, that you know, I think meeting Cha, I mean I've not spent as much time with him as you will have done. But uh, I think having lessons with Cha, having that one lesson made me go. Well, even just hearing him once, yeah. I've been spending a lot of time sort of in between playing with an electric setup and trying to work on my acoustic tone at home. Mm. And then you hear Cha play and you go, "Oh, wow. Like he's yeah. uh that's yeah. a real sound. Yeah. And you go, that yeah. is, so, you know, and then, you know, 
he, and it's not it's, it's not that he's got like an amazing violin it's he's mm -hmm. he, i remember i heard him playing on a violin that you know probably wasn't worth loads mm -hmm. but he's got a real sound yeah. and that was a bit of a turning point for me going oh what is this what is this sort of What's yeah. this pickup stuff that we're doing? I mean, I can't really say too much against pickups because I was I've actually been sponsored by a pickup system on this podcast <laughs> right. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a, a cheap a cheap one, Shirtler. Okay. But, oh, um, I, I used so to I use that one. But that yeah, was yeah, when yeah, I was. Yeah, lost. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes I I I I need to use one quite a lot, and if I'm gonna it's, use one, it's actually one, a really decent I will pickup. Use it. If I yeah, if I it is good. It's a, it is a microphone one, actually. Yeah. I still, I still have I think, one, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Uh, electro dynamic. Uh, electro uh -huh. dynamic. Uh, yeah, that's so it. Not yeah. piezo electric, so it's not as bad as piezo. Yeah. 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 It's decent. Hmm. I remember. I think, but I was talking to Cha. I remember when I had a uh, first lesson with Cha, and I said to him, "You know, I had I'd had this problem that I'd spent so much time, and uh, most of my time practicing had been just sort of." transcribing horn players or transcribing jazz and it wasn't i had completely missed any technical um any anything to do with technical stuff or tone mm -hmm. and i remember him saying ah you know you should speak to alexandra because uh he um he said you know that you had said the same thing to him a long time ago and so is that I, I just thought i'd bring that up but, but what, what some, was the pro the problem you were facing? I, I didn't get that. So story. I had spent lo so much time trying to play jazz that I had stopped thinking about tone or technique. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I went basically to the... Because I... I, 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 I wasn't... Let's just say I wasn't trained well as a classical yeah. violinist from... Uh, hopefully my former teacher won't hear this but that's just what it is and and then when i studied in concert in conservatories i i had no lessons with a violin yeah player. So that's so, i'm the same so basically i was yeah. it was just me on my own so 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 yeah so I, so yeah the, the the whole technical part of the thing got di diluted because i i didn't wasn't my focus at the time. I was like trying yeah. to to sound like Charlie Parker on a violin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without yeah. any any. But but I guess I was looking for technical solution. But my my only my only tool was the sound that I I was yeah. producing. If it was good, that it it meant maybe something I was doing was good. If it if it was. Uh, if it yeah. became worse, then I was try to switch. But I yeah I kept. Yeah, switching and but eventually, yeah. No, no. I, I would say that technique is is uh, a big uh, focus of mine. Yeah. But but that's just th that's just the way the way I, I I like to work. I really like what Bill Evans says uh, about. Uh, there's there's a wonderful video where he plays that tune which I really love uh, called "All oh About You" and. Uh -huh. uh, it's oh, yeah, on it's television, song. and basically, he 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 is telling this. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but jazz is too complex. It's such a big problem that you have to break it down into really small p pieces. Yeah, and solve them. Yeah. one one time, and if you try to 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 make an approximation of the whole thing, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe it's going to fool some people, but you 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 will end up being confused and yeah. lost. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. I, that, I, I'm a really monomaniacal personality, so that helps because if I if I'm stuck with a problem, I just can only focus on that one. But I do think it's the right approach because, mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you're working. Um, so I would spend like one year or um, six months, one year, whatever, two, I don't know, uh, thinking only about tone. And then I would yeah. do the same with time. Uh, yeah. But when you fix something, it happens that you, you something else in, you, in your playing become, becomes worse 
that that can yeah. happen. Usually, it's it's the opposite. For example, if you pr practice timing, you have to practice w with a click, with a metronome. Yeah. But your harmonic sense is going to get better because you can't play with a guitar doing pum shak pum shak yeah. and playing the chords. So yeah. you're working on your time, but your uh, melodic and harmonic uh, sense is getting stronger just because mm -hmm. you're getting used to to uh, play the harmony and just yeah. not play on top of the harmony. Uh, so so there's that. And as far as tone uh, goes, what what I will re recommend is, uh, for, for, for me, what that was the breakthrough, is uh, you, you go to YouTube, you type Tampura, so it's T-A-M-P-U-R-A. Essentially, it's As like in a the in Indian thing. In yeah, it's an Indian uh, yeah. bourdon, a drone. They call it too. Yeah, yeah, the drone. Yeah, yeah. With that thing, it's just basically impossible to play out of tune. Yeah, you c you have to correct because the harmonics of the your tonic of the bourdon are so strong that you can't fight mm -hmm. against them. And that there's an yeah. even better way to use that is that you would sing the notes. For example, uh -huh. a natural third, a natural uh -huh. major third. And I can assure you, in two minutes, even someone with, with really bad intonation, who can't hear the difference who, uh, between yeah. be playing in tune and playing totally out of, out of tune, you show mm -hmm. them that thing with, uh, for example, the, the tonic in C, you play the natural yeah. E, and then mm -hmm. you play the E string, and they can tell the difference. They're like, ah, yeah, the E string is, is out of tune. It's too high. Yeah. But talking yeah. about some someone who maybe plays the violin for one year and has really, really big, big, big problem with an intonation and doesn't uh -huh. even realize that they are there. So uh, it's unconscious. He's playing really out of tune. I had the case like quite recently because I, I came back for, from two weeks of workshops. So... Uh, so that's what I would recommend to to practice tone uh, intonation. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also and that, that's something that you is that something that you did with that Char told you, or is that something that you found? No, basically, yourself? what what would happen is that I eventually I I picked up the the uh, viola in the band with mm -hmm. Lucia, Le Violon, and uh, yeah, and uh, it's. Being playing in tune on the violin is just essentially a nightmare because you you're stuck in the, in the middle, and yeah. uh, <laughs> th there's a false perception uh, that playing in tune means something. It doesn't. Yeah. Like for for example, you play a a, a C C uh, C six chord, so do di do da. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if I do do di, a real uh, major third, but uh -huh. I have the force between the the third di da di da. Uh -huh. If I my E is too low because I'm playing the natural, I I end up with a a force that's too big. So mm -hmm. I can't use I can't use the 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 natural E. If mm -hmm. I only play do di da, I can. Yeah. As a vi as a viola player, uh, if you can't hear that or instinctively, really quickly correct, uh, given where the bass stands, where the guitar stands, where the two violins uh, mm -hmm. above you are, if you can't correct really quickly, you'll piss everyone off. Okay, because, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, yeah, it would be better if you didn't play that part. Yeah. So, so you think that's helped your intonation is having to having to change well, well having uh, to change things I guess, by being I guess I was playing chords. out of tune, but I, I didn't realize that, that but uh, yeah. no, it became a problem with friends and musicians that I extremely respect and it mm -hmm. deserved the music, so I had to focus on that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But that thing with the tempura really works. It's it's amazing. And I couldn't sing in tune before. It's not yeah. that I can sing really nowadays because <laughs> I'm not a singer, but I I can yeah. sing sounds that I can hear uh, in my head. Yeah. 
pretty much. Okay. I mean, within yeah. reason, but uh, uh, yeah, it's a you know, I mean, it's a it's a good skill to have. Yeah. Even if you're not going to sing in public, yeah. you know. And the good, it does just the good news with you, that yeah. thing is that if you do that exercise like uh, for ten minutes a day, for two months, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to make amazing uh, progresses. It 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 it's so what it's, it's exactly really what, what exactly really what fast. exercise? So, so just you play you play that tempura in C. Yeah. And you practice mm -hmm. uh, maybe a scale or whatever you you're practicing. Uh -huh. Maybe yeah. maybe if you're practicing all of me, it's also mm -hmm. interesting to play all of me with a with a C. Going doing so that would yeah. be uh, my tempera all the way through because yeah. you can hear the the real real intervals and the and the taste of functions of, and chords and tensions mm -hmm. and you can hear the real like the real. Uh, intonation but but i could the real mm -hmm. intonation is the 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 pure intonation like it's more in tune yeah. than a piano maybe for for those yeah who, sure who's are who are wondering what what, <laughs> what i'm talking about you you can yeah. be more in tune uh and and when you do that it's usually people who, who can't realize that actually that's what they're playing they would say they can't hear it they just say whoa yeah. your sound is so great yeah because you're so okay. in tune that all your harmonics are in phase with all the other harmonics of the uh -huh. other, other instruments uh -huh. uh, and and having that uh, that locked in uh, 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 is will become easier with a band if you practice it with something uh -huh. uh, where th these harmonics are really really loud uh, so the tempo yeah. so essentially it's practicing uh hearing uh and correcting and it's mm -hmm. like metronome uh when you stop using it the reference is still there you have a better tempo sure yeah. even if you're yeah. not totally metronomic you will have a better mm -hmm. tempo and you, yeah. you, you it's like building a reference inside of yourself so mm. yeah it's it's uh, yeah it's uh, I I do I do happen to get to think it's a it's a good advice for me it changed everything. I'm not saying I'm playing right, tune yeah. nowadays, but <laughs> <laughs> it's helped. But, but it got it got much better. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And for for yeah, it's quite minimal effort. To, uh, for minute for mi minimal effort. Yeah, which is always great. <laughs> Chaz always told me to to do um you know to to practice double stops. And to wait for the harmonics, you know. And to, yeah, that's you know, another to, way to, to do to it. Hear. It's essentially the it's same. Quite similar. Uh, it's similar. Yeah. It's similar. Yeah, it's similar. And it, yeah. it has the added benefit of uh, of uh, um, in enhancing the sound of your violin, because you. Yeah. What would happen is that the, if you play uh, uh, D and D and uh, and B, for example, you will hear a G lower, and yeah. that subharmonic will will make your your violin op more open rather quickly yeah but is still, that i mean i'm, but still, I'm, not, I'm quite skeptical about that uh, i'm not I, not as in fully skeptical i just feel like i'm not sure if it's true i do <laughs> I think it's I mean, true because i i, I i've ordered a um, sort of a device that makes your violin vibrate uh yeah and it and it's used to basically if you pick an, an instrument that hasn't been played for years or whatever, uh -huh. you you stick it, it needs that. on the on the right uh, uh, and and for six days, right? And ah. it does make a difference, uh, right? Uh, I do think it, it makes a difference because the the wood is is a uh, is a uh, complex material. So I'm not even sure mm -hmm. what's there in there. Are there any liquids still from the tree or whatever? But how right. how do the fibers react? But I think it's not too far fetched to imagine that giving yeah. uh, elasticity to the wood by doing mm -hmm. that would enhance the sound. It, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You you know I'm I'm not saying I I don't believe yeah, it. Yeah, I just yeah. not not sure yeah. not totally sure i'm not totally I mean, sure either i'm not totally sure either 
Yeah. Because um, by doing that exercise, you practice your tone, and if you play it more in yeah. tune, you sound better. And your violin sounds good. And you yeah. might think yeah. it's uh, your violin. So I'm I, I'm there with you. I'm just saying it's it, th 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 maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But I do uh, constantly feel my violin changes, you know, and I'm never I can't ever tell if it's true or if it's just because mm. my mood, how my mood is or, you know, yeah. whether I whether I've been practicing or whether I'm playing well or the yeah. room. I'm all but sometimes I'll pick up my violin and think, God, this sounds yeah. like this, someone's the chain. The chain is so big. The chain. Is yeah. So big. Yeah. There it are can too be many big, yeah. parameters to even. Yeah. 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 But one mm. thing that I that I I, I tend to prefer um, modern instrument for that reason they they tend to be more stable. Uh huh. And okay. I think it's actually a really bad surprise when you you play the first few notes at a gig. Yeah. And you don't like your sound, or you don't yeah. like the sound of your violin. It's but horrible. It's, like, it's horrible. So. Yeah, because you like I've got a to, whole to, gig. <laughs> to prefer like modern instruments, if they're well uh, tuned and and um, yeah, you 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 pick you you pick a plane for seven hours. You you pick up your violin uh, when when you come along, and it's still in tune. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it can happen with an old one. Yeah. you're never. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. No. Yeah. No. 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 So, yeah. but but as far as the, the exercise that Cha would recommend, uh, I I still think uh, that uh, as a first step, at least, especially mm -hmm. with singing the note before playing it, mm -hmm. yeah, I still think that uh, starting from scratch, mm -hmm. mm, the tempora thing is is uh, is. It's more it's more feasible for anyone. Like playing th okay. fifth, uh, th sixth, or third is already uh -huh. quite advanced, right? Sure. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, maybe, yeah. and maybe totally, yeah. want, it, maybe and maybe you don't want. Maybe you you're doing violin as a hobby. You don't want to play third. It's too complicated yeah, for you. Yeah. You do that's have a true, job. Yeah. You that's want true. to have fun. You play folk in a bar, and that's fine. And, yeah, and no yeah. one asks yeah. you to 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 do that stuff. So so it's really it's really that's true. like anyone can do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Like if, yeah, if you are true. if you have a kid and he's just learning to put his first finger on the on the fretboard, uh -huh. uh, it's a good idea to do that because yeah, he, okay. he'll, he'll feel he'll, he'll feel when when things are in yeah. tune. It's it's not going to be something mysterious where to, you uh -huh. have to rely on other people saying no, it's too high, no, it's too low, no, it's too high. It's like yeah, you know it, you you just feel it. <laughs> So I mean, I think, yeah, some people maybe don't hear it though. I mean, I, so some people actually, you know, that I've, I've actually, because, you know, I mean, I'm, I, I, I actually do that with, I actually do that. I have a Tampura app on my phone. Tan, yeah, Tampura, ah, okay. because I, I used to that. learn, I used to learn. Okay, yeah, yeah, interesting. I used okay. to learn Indian music okay. a little bit, you know, and I, do, okay, I find okay. it. I, I like, I like practicing scales with with it. But uh, and not many people do it actually. I don't think I've heard many people who do it. But I sometimes bring it out if I'm teaching a beginner, and I'll bring it out. And yeah, kids, some I, I kids, do that. Some kids get it, and beginners. some kids, some kids, some people get it, and some people don't. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, fair enough. That might be. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, yeah. It's probably one one option of, of out of many other. Uh, I I know for myself specifically, it yeah. was it was a aha moment. Like it changed everything, yeah. basically. Yeah, totally. But this kind of thing, I would say, oh my God, if I knew that when I was 12 or whatever. Yeah. But, but Yeah, but, yeah, totally. But, but yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's probably not, doesn't mean that it would work for anyone. But what's sure is it's, it's definitely worth a try. Because yeah, it's no, not, I totally it's not agree like with you. you're changing anything. You're just doing no, something no, for, no. for ten, 10 minutes when you pick up your violin. So it's definitely... Yeah. And there's no it harm sounds it's a lot more like music as well, isn't it? Sorry, it's very mu it's very musical. It actually. is. It's, it it's suddenly appeasing. feels like it's music. Appeasing. Yeah, when yeah. just just having yeah. a, a major third, like a natural yeah. one, it's so consonant. Yeah. you're not even used yeah. to such a high level of consonance because because uh, for example, p piano music doesn't have that that degree of yeah. consonance. So it. It is appeasing, yeah. It totally is. Hmm. Yeah. 
Usually what happens so, when I use... Uh, yeah. No, 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 carry on, carry on, man. Okay, you, you, usually what happens when I do that is I'm like, yeah, I'm going to, to only do that for five minutes because I don't have time. I, I need to learn this and this and that. And I have to, to go for my gig. And then eventually I, I <laughs> the video is, is 30 minutes long and uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll play in tune, but I it. won't know the tune <laughs> tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah. So so, do you prefer to practice exercises like that over <coughs> practicing um, like material? Then. Uh, what, what what do you? What do you mean by material? So what do you, what were material like learning <coughs> songs or learning a new piece or learning like a, I don't know if you, if you, if you transcribe <coughs> Sorry uh, about that. solos and things. Ah, oh, but, um, I'm extremely disorganized in my mm. practicing, uh, work, like schedule and, 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 and whatnot. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's all really, really messy. I just, I just have obsessions. But yeah. um, well, uh, oh, it's it's hard to describe what I do. Uh, actually, I'm I'm ashamed to 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 describe how, <laughs> how, how unorganized it is. But basically, well, it, it depends what you def how do you define practicing because because if I if I'm if I'm for for example I'm fascinated. Uh, fascinated for f uh, about uh, poro rhythms, uh -huh. and I would practice yeah. that. I would just put a metronome in in my, and that's not really practicing the violin, but my violin playing is going to be enhanced by that. Uh, yeah, if yeah. we're talking only about uh, like practicing the violin, uh, essentially that would be just like no, it's not even true because uh, for for example, I listen to to something. Uh, a song, a jazz standard, whatever. Anytime I hear a phrase that I really like, I pause mm -hmm. it, I go back and try to hear what's what's going on there, what's the approach. But I uh -huh. could do that without the vi violin, actually. I, I, actually, mm -hmm. I most of the time do that without the violin. Uh, oh, wow. But that's just being lazy, I guess. But with the vi <laughs> but 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 and then s essentially, when I would would pick up the violin, it would be a need to 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 get a better technique. But that's just where yeah. I am uh, like yeah. in this time. If if my focus was, I think my focus is going to go back to like have uh, better, better phrases. I'd like, I would uh -huh. like to, to develop polyphony in my, in my, in my, uh, my fa phrasing. Uh -huh. So so the way Bach would do it or Charlie Parker would do it. Yeah. Like you can see that there is a, a bottom voice, a top voice and a middle voice. And just yeah, your line just yeah. go back and forth and sort of, mm. you know, and you can hear up high there's a voice really simple that goes uh, na, do, 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 and another one uh, mm. in the bottom and so, so on and so forth. Mm. Uh, but yeah. uh, but I'm not there yet. I'm still stuck with a uh, with a uh, rhythm now, I guess, uh -huh. uh, and uh, and uh, and intonation uh, mm -hmm. to a lesser extent. No, I'm sort of switching. But but essentially, I would recommend to go with what you love. Uh huh. Yeah, because there's no way. There's no. There's no. There's no. There's no. There's no, there's no book. There's no path to follow that would that will lead you to being a great jazz violinist but i do believe uh -huh. that if you learn things that you like mm -hmm. licks whatever a phrase a tune uh a way of playing a vibrato could be anything mm -hmm. and you just go with what strikes you on this very uh -huh. day you can't you can't go you can't go wrong in a way yeah you want yeah. you'll end up being a a musician that you like and uh yeah so i yeah i guess <laughs> what is your what would your advice be for <laughs> sorry uh, sorry it's our latency problem uh, yeah, yeah 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 so, so um what would your advice be to somebody who is just starting out with jazz and um they're trying to look for an approach to just 
to start to, to start learning it to start practicing yeah it, what i would, would you start to listen to a lot of stuff and find out not on not only violin huh? not only violin mm -hmm. anything even mm -hmm. even like i don't know anything and really find what do i like in, the, in that music and eventually uh -huh. listening to other musics yeah and then um and then go go with what they like maybe they they yeah. end up hearing a solo they really really love uh -huh. then listening to to it a lot and then s mm -hmm. starting and start from there yeah and eventually that solo is going to bring technical f difficulties intonation difficulties and then try to find answers every time uh, mm -hmm. a small problem is encountered and then yeah. go on I don't think there's a, there's okay. a, there's a there's a way to do that. Uh, no. Yeah. But you think you it's so? Sort of yeah, everyone's I, got their own path. You have to be so passionate with that thing because, mm -hmm. frankly, m violin is is just it's awful as an instrument. It's <laughs> it's so un unforgiven. Uh, unforgive. Uh, yeah. How do you say that? Yeah, unforgiving. Yeah, it is. It is like if, yeah, if totally. you go to a piano recital. Only, mm -hmm. only a few people are going to spot if, well, uh, the wrong key, the wrong chord or wrong key is it at, at a certain point. Mm -hmm. If uh, a violin player uh, <sighs> is is going, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's very if things true. Things don't go but don't go well for him. Everybody can hear it. Absolutely, everybody. Yeah. So, so. To to stick with that, knowing that you'll you'll end up being really disappointed, or disappoint <laughs> others as well, you have to be yeah. passionate and you have to love what you do. Yeah, I, I think it's yeah. a general pr principle in life as well. But yeah, but, but uh, that's so. So that's what I would recommend. My my, my first, yeah, like find what you love, what, find what we, yeah what you want to do, and yeah, you know, I recently realized that. A lot of the problem with like learning violin at the beginning is like his parents like as a kid like because parents hear the kid playing and they go they're not good they need to quit yeah. like there's, there's yeah. a lot of the, any of the a lot of the kids i have taught mm -hmm. anytime i've spoken to parents they're usually quite negative about the kid because if they don't understand music it's all so they fun. hear is this like yeah. terrible thing happening and they think yeah. Oh, maybe you know, and then the kid starts thinking, "Oh, well, maybe I'm not good. Maybe I'll quit." You know, yeah, it yeah. is a, it's a, it's a difficult instrument. It yeah, is. yeah, it is. Uh, but I, I don't even think it's difficulty. I think it's, it's, it's how awful it, it can sound when things <laughs> go wrong, <laughs> because all instruments are difficult. But mistakes yeah, yeah. on the violin, yeah. you, everybody can hear their mistakes. They sound awful. There's just <laughs> no way around that. So, yeah. Yeah. so uh, I'm sure I, su I should add to your question that, of course, look for a good violin teacher yeah. for your technique. Yeah. Because you will have technical problems. That's a given. Yeah. So just do that as well. Yeah. Don't do what. what so I did do. you say when you just were just growing say, up, oh, you will be fine by myself. <laughs> 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 you're going to la la waste a lot of time by doing that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've wasted a lot of time to be honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of my uh, yeah, yeah, my technique so is just I. as so I go. Did I. Um did would you, did you say that you had problems well, you know, you maybe didn't have the best teacher when you were younger? Yeah, yeah. But actually yeah. that's not the maybe that's it's, uh, it's definitely true. Well, I was okay. playing all the pieces I would learn uh unison with him with her actually. Uh-huh. I mean that's a horrible way of teaching. If you're playing, playing okay, right. If you're playing unison yeah. while you're studying and playing, how how can you even start? You can't even hear him, right? Yeah. And if you're not yeah. that great of a player, it, it makes things even worse. Yeah. Right. Because you're just yeah. enforcing your mistakes, your intention, uh, intonation mistakes. All of your mistakes yeah. are enforced in. in your student it's just yeah it's just really bad way of uh, of teaching yeah so, so yeah that's what happened 
On the other yeah. hand, I was really, really into music, so mm -hmm. I used to be really sad about that. Nowadays, I think of it as a... No, like Lisa Simpson says, uh, Chinese people, I don't even know if it's true, but Chinese people, according to Liza Simpson from the, yeah. you know, the cartoon, uh, yeah, yeah. Chi in Chinese, there's a, the, the, the word for crisis and opportunity is the same. <laughs> ah. And ah, yeah. if I had had a good teacher, maybe I would have just followed the path and I would have yeah. played classical violin. And I don't mm -hmm. think with my background, it would, it, it would have gotten me anywhere where I would be enjoying myself. I don't think I would yeah. enjoy myself being, being playing in an orchestra, for example. Not knowing no. what's going around, having no notion of harmonic, of, of yeah. the harmony, what I'm doing in that yeah. stuff, just, just reading a piece of paper and be really good yeah. at it. Uh, I, yeah. It it wouldn't wouldn't fulfill me as a musician. Maybe maybe, yeah. maybe it's it's it would have. I don't know actually. Maybe it's a bit pretentious <laughs> to say that, but mm, it's, it's, no, it's hard not, to say. Probably not because I really like the it's freedom. It's hard to say. I really like the freedom yeah. in jazz. Yeah, me, it was I sometimes think about that as well. Because yeah, but maybe it is just that you found as soon as you found jazz you realized the freedoms there and 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 yeah. you and you and you've yeah. tried it and then you go oh, actually this is much better but maybe if yeah. you've never never tried it you'd, yeah. you'd be happy like when i was trying to discover what i liked in jazz because that's what i did uh, and 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 that was that was more than 20 years ago so in my time you had hmm. to go to the music li library and y you i would mm -hmm. be able to afford to 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 rent one CD at a time, or maybe two or three in a week. So that was yeah. a really long process. Um, mm. uh, when it clicked for me, it was a uh, uh, Charlie Parker, Jazz at Marseille, right. that live concert. Mm -hmm. To me, it was like, yeah. okay, that's it. It's big. Yeah. To me, it was Bach, because I, 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 am, I, am, I was uh, uh, a huge fan of Bach. It's Bach with yeah. free freedom and rhythm, and it grooves. Yeah. But it sounds yeah. like back, so so that's <laughs> yeah, that's when it clicked for me. But um, uh, I don't even know what we were talking about. Or when, uh, just I don't know. What did actually. I say? <laughs> Why did I say that? Uh, anyway, I think so, we so were just. I don't, we don't need to know where, where we were talking yeah. about. I think we I were think talking I'm about what no, the fuck, freedom, I the freedom in jazz. I guess <laughs> the freedom. Yeah, have. freedom yeah. in jazz. So to me, that was liberating. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. having a, a book yeah. to follow, not having just do whatever you want. It, it really fits with my pers personality. Like, yeah, I, I like to figure out things on my own. Uh -huh. Be wrong, be right, evolve from yeah. there. Be wrong, yeah. be wrong, learn. Uh, so, so <laughs> you you enjoy the process of practice. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Uh, maybe I don't do it enough. Uh, but but mm -hmm. I, 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 I do, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I have there ever been points where you have not enjoyed the process of practice? As in, you know, because I think there's a lot of musicians out there who um, find practice stressful. Or yeah, um, yeah, you find practice stressful. I think a lot, a lot has to be said about how to practice correctly, uh, mm -hmm. because practice is done by repetition, right? Uh, mm -hmm. That's the way you 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 train your brain to perform mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. you're not able to perform. But mm -hmm. if you repeat mistakes, you learn mistakes. If you're you're unaware. Of the if, if you are unaware of those mistakes, if you repeat mistakes and you know it's wrong, you can help your brain to to yeah. Um. So uh, and uh, so I put practice. I mean, ex extremely practice. I, I mm -hmm. Cha told me that. I mean, he did. He didn't say it to me, but I I noticed that's what he was doing. When when he practices, 
And usually that's what he starts doing when we, we arrive at the venue or at the gig. He's only playing mm -hmm. stuff he can't play already. Which, it, which yeah. is actually funny because sometimes there would be people in the, <laughs> in the room. <laughs> you would see on the yeah. what's happening. <laughs> well, so he only, see, he when only they see a guy pu putting out his violin and uh, all he does is trying to play a phrase and he can't manage to do it. <laughs> but that's how you <laughs> practice. You practice things yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, do. Yeah, I agree. You practice things you can't do. Yeah. And when you yeah. play, you play. And when you play, you forget about everything else. Yeah. And you just to you try to get in that zone where you only a sound in a band and mm -hmm. you're not aware of or you're not afraid of judgment, you're never not afraid of anything. You don't think of chords. You just try to have a child sing in yourself and your job is to translate mm -hmm. the singing on the violin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's that's the a really good way to play. That's what I'm aiming for. It's an awful way yeah. to practice. Okay. So so, so you can so you say you what you're aiming f that's what you're aiming for but it's not what y it's not how you should practice. Yeah, when you practice you try in in, in my view you should try to to shape yeah. the musician you are. Mhm. Mm so what that means is is it's like a scientific research. Uh part yeah. of a, of a good scientific research is not even how you do it. It's before that. Mm -hmm. Is what among all the things that we don't know is the thing mm -hmm. we should try to know now, given what we've just learned. Yeah. Yeah. And that requires to be really honest with your playing. Yeah. So and it surely requires to record yourselves at gigs. Yeah. Or even when you practice. That's mm -hmm. a way to practice playing, actually, if you see what I mean. You can record yeah. yourself, you, say, you pretend, okay, I'm in a room, I'm playing the solo now. Mm -hmm. And you listen to yourself, which can be painful sometimes. Sure. You spot the the dirty spots in your playing that would, if getting, uh, if you that if you would get rid of them, uh, would improve your you as a musician. And mm -hmm. you just and you just try to brush them away as quick yeah. as possible, as efficiently uh, as possible. Mm -hmm. that's that's to me that's what practicing is that's what practice is yeah makes a lot of sense uh, but um there's a lot of people who fi who find that difficult who uh you know and i think and uh i think it's i think it's very difficult to 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 find yourself at that place where every time you sit down to practice yeah. that's the process that's yeah. going through that's, yeah. that's going on yeah but the thing is that um, my my playing violin play, playing vi jazz violin is my job mm-hmm so mm -hmm. I have to be to be efficient, and I want mm -hmm. to learn, and I, w I want to to be able to touch people even more. Uh, yeah. If I was I I, I would uh, play jazz violin as a hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's not the right way to practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sure. I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. Uh, but but uh, it really it really depends. It doesn't matter what your goal is in music. Uh, and I'm paraphrasing mm -hmm. Bill Evans again. It's another interview, but it uh, doesn't matter. Yeah. As as far as you're honest with yourself, like sure. if you play in a rock band and you're doing, doing it and you're really famous and you do it for the money and the celebrity, that's fine. It's okay. Just be honest with yourself. You're not yeah. doing it for the music. You know, if you, mm -hmm. if you, if your goal is, is to have fun with your friends, mm -hmm. well, when you practice, you, 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 your focus should be what's going to make that experience next week even more fun? What should I learn yeah. to, to, to enjoy myself more? Yeah, uh, that's a different mm -hmm. goal that the one that, that I have, but it's totally legitimate. Yeah, I think anyone can play music and uh, I would say maybe every everyone should, but I <laughs> mean, but that's, that's extreme. But music <laughs> give give uh, a sense uh, of a uh, give people uh, a sense of life a meaning is in their life so mm -hmm. yeah so it can be really a, a healing force i really strongly do believe that in in the world we live in 
So yeah. So so no, I don't think practice should be painful. Uh, yeah. Because if you're passionate and you know what your goal is, and practicing is mm -hmm. just trying to work on the things that would uh, will make you evolve the the quickest and the more efficiently, it's fine. Yeah. If that means just learning licks by heart, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if if that's will that's what will bring the most fun to you and to the people you you're playing with, of course, uh, that's mm -hmm. fine. That's fine. Yeah. I don't think there's one way to to do it. I I do think is that if if if, if and that's why I would dis strongly disagree with Christian. I don't think if your aim is to be a uh, a professional mu musician you should you should practice leaks by heart uh for example yeah because because in my view of what music is it, it just doesn't make any any type of sense whatsoever uh but but uh but if i was then uh, you don't think but if i was playing jazz rolling uh on sundays i would totally mm -hmm. su subscribe to that that view because Lex. that's yeah, licks would would it would be so fun to to learn a few licks uh, on a Tuesday mm -hmm. and be able to to perform them with my friends and 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 get some cheers and have fun and yeah. and, and play around with them. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I'm going <laughs> on a tangent there, I guess. No, no, it's all right. Um, but I mean. Uh, there's a di there's a difference between I guess using like learn learning other people's solos and licks as a way of of enhancing your your improvisation versus just learning the licks to play the licks. Yeah. Well, but but I I do learn licks. It's it's it's, it's yeah. Not, it's not even that. But That's what, but, yeah. but but, but uh, I learned that I don't have to do anything to learn a link. A, a lick. Yeah. If I, it's just I'm like, oh, that's cool. I go back, I play it again. I go back, I play it again. I think to myself, yeah. Oh, okay. So where are we? What What's the song? Okay. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Okay, that's a cool one. Eventually, yeah. I will play it. I don't really have to learn it. If I hear it, it's 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 fine. Okay. If I yeah, can yeah. figure out yeah. the fig finger in mentally, it's fine. But, but as a professional musician, what I'm mm. need. In my opinion, to ask myself is, why is that lick so cool? What's what's going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, I totally agree. Okay, there's that voice, yeah, and yeah. there's that That's voice. That's the best bit. And 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 actually, actually, I thought it it was resolving on the chord, but there's a latency, so the, there's a mm -hmm. it resolved two beats too late. And that's what I, I, I find yeah. really cool. Oh, that's so cool because yeah. I try, I can use a totally different approach or a totally f different uh, ID yeah. and, and try to find on my own something that uh, would resolve a little bit too late. Uh, yeah. Um, so experiment with horizontal playing. Uh, yeah. Meaning that you, you, if you have like, for example, you have a two, five, one, uh -huh. You can you can play the five, four, six beats, not only. Uh -huh. It's tot it works. It works totally yeah. works, because you 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 still there with your you, with your playing your G seven, and everybody's yeah. playing C. It creates a great yeah. tension, and when you re you uh, when you resolve, it's like whoa, because yeah, yeah. Uh, Charlie Parker does that all the time. Uh, yeah, Django too. Chad does it all. the time. I mean. Everybody mm -hmm. does it basically, but uh, but uh, so you have to go beyond You're beyond the thing. You have to to understand why it's working. Just learning yeah. something. Oh, okay, yeah, that that one works. I have no idea what it's what it's like. I've just learned the shape mm -hmm. on the fretboard. Yeah. If your goal is to improve as a professional musician, I mean, it's 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 just not efficient. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do agree with you. For me, the best bit is going is working out what someone's done and then thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something like that, like you know, myself in a solo, and I'm not gonna just play exactly that lick. But yeah. you know what, you know, you work working out what <coughs> what the, what has happened basically, and and what's yeah, been thought about. Essentially, what what happens is that you are playing, and when you want to to play that lick, you like you have to remember, okay, that lick starts. It's a two five mm. one, yeah, blah yeah, blah yeah. blah, and yeah, it starts yeah. on the third beat, on the third yeah, beat yeah. of the first yeah. bar. 
I can't think of that when I'm soloing because my only goal yeah, when I yeah. solo is like listen deep inside me, hear a phrase, try to yeah. play it on the violin, next one. Yeah. And so on and so forth. But I would so I would say that the people I, I would say that the pe you know, if you do that the other the other thing that you're talking about, which is learning licks, just learning loads of them, going, I like the sound of this, I'm mm -hmm. gonna learn it. And if you learn loads of them, you find I think I mean this isn't the way that I've done it. But I think it's the way that a lot of people have done it, <coughs> is that they've just learnt it without worrying about what it is, and then they've yeah. slammed it onto all the chords, and mm -hmm. it sounded good. And actually, after, after a while, I feel like everyone comes to the same place, do they not? As in, like, even maybe with maybe the person who's just learnt the licks can't can't always tell you what is going on within those things. But a lot of the time, I think that it maybe is a way to it is a is a road to 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 improvising. You know, yeah, I mean, it's not it's for me. Certainly, it's certainly a road to improvising. What, what I'm saying is certainly not the most efficient. G given right. the assumption yeah. that you have, you devoting most of your life to yeah. to to, yeah, yeah. To, to being a musician. Yeah. Because basically, it would it, what it would amount to say is like, yeah, not being interested in why that lick sounds good <laughs> yeah. is good. Okay. Or, yeah. or, or not knowing something. Or not learning yeah. something can be any good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? But a lot of people like to sure. Like, it's do quicker. Like sure, it's that way quicker. It's quicker. Yeah. On the moment, it's quicker. You're going to save ten minutes. But yeah. uh, by s you you you, but, you, yeah. you save ten minutes and 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 there's something where where you 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 would have come up with a, your own original idea. Yeah. Yeah. I, f I prefer to waste yeah. ten minutes playing violin. And yeah. 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 I agree, with you. With I agree with you. I guess I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's it's a way. It does work. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, it does work. But I also think uh, when Christian says he st men talks about it, he's talking about it from a, from the from the aspect from someone who did know it, all of it and already knew what it was before he went to practice it mm -hmm. and could hear it because he had he's got like perfect pitch. Mm -hmm. So maybe I I'm never too sure whether like that I, I agree with Christian because I think that he already knew what was going on when he was practicing these but, licks but anyway. then again then again I'm not I, I don't want to sound like I'm 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 uh, picking up on Christian because what he does with his, his YouTube channel is really great. It's great. He's, yeah. he's enab enabling people who want to play that style yeah to have fun. Oh yeah. In oh a yeah. Quick way. Also he would And I have the most respect for that. It's just oh, it's yeah. just what what is the goal is is just yeah, my, yeah. My, 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 my i'm sure he so i'm sure I, he'd be happy for you to for f i don't think he'd mind you saying that i think he'd, he likes to have a <laughs> he I likes think to, it's awesome to talk it out he, he's <laughs> making the world a better place because he's allowing yeah. people to have fun with music and once again yeah. i'm convinced that music in in the life of so many people is what gives sense. yeah totally. it's it's like yeah. it's like yeah maybe i don't like my job and yeah. so on but man, when I go to the to the pub with my friends, it's yeah. so much fun to 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 yeah, yeah. to 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 just jam and, and and try those licks and 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 be and become better so quick. So 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 yeah. I, I have the utmost respect for what what he's doing. Yeah, man. It's just uh, it depends on the goal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I was just saying I wouldn't worry about. But, but about saying uh, anything contrary to what he believes on here, yeah, yeah. because he's yeah, he yeah. quite likes to, he likes the argument anyway, or he yeah, likes yeah. to, he likes <laughs> to go, you know. But I'd rather say th say that here that uh, having to say say it afterwards, because I yeah, really yeah. do believe what uh, what I just said. I really do believe. Yeah, it. yeah. It's yeah. it's it's uh it's bringing good to the to people and to the to the world. So it's it's all good. Yeah, man. Yeah totally agree i totally agree and i you know what i find i would find it really difficult to make videos and like to do lessons like that i enjoy teaching but i would find it very difficult to do like video lessons i just don't think i could do it and he's really good at it yeah you know, he is. people, people like christian are really good at, good at, at it. It. Yeah. yeah 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 he's extremely good at it yeah yeah and 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 it's 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 really great. It's really great. It's, it's yeah. giving people uh, ways to have fun with their their instrument. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's awesome. <laughs> hey, um, what are you up to at the moment? Have you got anything that you that any like projects that you're you're focusing on 
at the moment. Uh, oh wow! Um, so the, does that CD, uh, the new CD of the Violins, uh, Violent Bruxelles? Oh yeah. Uh, that I've actually been mixing. Uh, ah okay. So there will be that. We have a, a date in September. Uh, with that. Uh, where where are the dates? Uh, I I don't actually know, but most most of them appear to be in around Brussels, I guess. Right. Uh, there's the new not city coming to London. We would like to, but but eventually we we could with Dave. I don't know uh, things. Uh, it's, but Dave, it's, not, Dave it's not out Kelvin. there already, and I know that once uh -huh. the the CD will be released, Dave uh, has take um, talked at the time of of having a store uh, through UK. Sure. Like he does with Cha, with a, a lot of yeah, yeah. different projects. So there's that, that would be great. There's a CD with Fappy that we recorded uh -huh. one year ago. That's that's being mixed by a, uh -huh. by a friend of mine. Uh, we're doing a uh, auto production. So I I really I have invested in like uh, uh, mics and recording equipment. Cool. Uh, uh so there's that this the, the the fappy thing we don't have a manager so <laughs> and no one is qualified to find gigs so who knows <laughs> what will happen with that one. It, also there's the thing that fappy doesn't want to travel because uh okay he's, he's back um mm -hmm. so we 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 should have been in django in june and played the the the, the festival in new york the django festival in new york but that didn't yeah. happen uh, right. So who knows what's going to happen with that thing? I have also a new project with a, a bassist called uh, Nicola Tais, who's uh, mm. quite renowned uh, in Belgium. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you you know him as well. I don't know. What's uh, called? Nicola Tais. Nope. Uh, don't know. So he's he's a really appreciated sideman, and yeah teaches in the, the conservatory and plays in a lot and that's his project for, for the first time maybe <laughs> i'm playing like modern jazz like oh cool you know like yeah like uh yeah so so that's really yeah, really 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 interesting to me uh yeah we, we just played a couple of gigs we just recorded a, a demo at my place and and we're going to be recording a, a, a cd next year hopefully yeah um and then eventually we'll, we will tour is that, I guess. Uh, there's that. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, I must have been now, like, things are oh, a man. bit slow this summer. Sorry, uh, there's, I don't know yeah. if you'll be able to hear this, but there's a, the, one of the Trump helicopters, because Trump's in London at the moment, one of the Trump helicopters keeps circling my house. So you can oh. hear it really loud. It's like these huge American helicopters, <laughs> and they just like rumble through the whole, the whole of this area. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Donald Trump. Sorry. Carry on. It's yeah. just out. It just was, it was rumbling. Donald, over. Donald Trump being loud is not really surprising. <laughs> yeah, he's used to being loud. Co man. Coincidence. <laughs> it's funny though. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry, I ruined you. Yeah, yeah no, no. I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> so that, yeah, there was that, 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 and yeah. Otherwise, I, I have, you know, I, I play in bands that aren't really bands. Uh, yeah. But I do play a lot <laughs> with yeah. Dardenne, uh, with with bunch yeah. of other people around Brussels. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I, I was, yeah, I was thinking about about going more to Paris and and sort of. Uh -huh. uh, see what's happening there uh, mm -hmm. but as far as my playing go as i'm not there yet uh, mm -hmm. because i would like to to master some some tempos that i don't okay uh and right. some divisions in those tempos so mm -hmm. may maybe that's just my way of being shy and, and scared yeah <laughs> and that's I'm very that's wait. a very musician thing that but just never being uh, ready for but I, I, the, the th next there's, thing. There's some people playing there that I would really like to play with. So because I really like what they do, uh, so many of them actually. So yeah. So there's that, but it's like ultra vague. <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, what else? I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> just yeah. 
trying That's to it. continue to <laughs> to improve as a musician, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, keep on free. fighting the good fight. Sorry. Well, just keep going. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm essentially a sideman, and I play violin jazz. So, so it's like I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm a lot dependent of circumstances and what op- other yeah. people are doing so so i try to keep yeah. in touch with the young younger generation as well uh-huh. uh, i like uh yeah motivated young people there are tons of yeah. them in brussels so oh, i really cool. like you know go to jams with them and then eventually they realize that they can call me for a gig <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so i like to do that a lot because uh i, uh-huh. I just yeah I just l- like being around passionate musicians. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's it, I guess. Uh, cool. Not much for now, um, but eventually um, one of those projects is going to 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 have yeah, a lot of dates, I hope. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um man, I better go cuz I've got I think I might be I think I'm going to be late to okay, my uh, okay. yeah, yeah, sound yeah. check. Okay. Okay. But, um, it's Where been nice playing? to chat to you, man. Yeah. Um, it, it's been a really great experience. Uh, yeah, I'm playing. playing in, I'm in playing London. in. Yeah, in. Uh, do you know the six oh six? No, no. It's a jazz. It's just a. It's just a jazz club. Okay. It's okay. like quite an old jazz club. It's been going yeah. a long time. With, it's, which, it's a good place. Uh, which uh, instrumentation? Uh, uh, so it's me. I'm playing violin with uh, two guitars and bass. Um, nice. It's a band called Trio Manouche with uh, Ducato Petrovsky. Do you know him? Uh, no, he's I like don't. a he's a he's a Polish uh, gypsy who, a lot of the time, if people come to the UK, mm-hmm. they'll play with him. He okay. plays a lot. Of, he's played rhythm rhythm guitar for lots of okay. just pretty much ah, everybody. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I check that out. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go do that now, but I think I might be late for my. Okay, um, okay, yeah, don't late for be my late sound to, check. Your gig, to your gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, it was re- no, but really, really great conversation. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, and the, I mean, the only downside has been this latency thing because actually, you're right. You were right when you said that it might be an issue. Is that sometimes I find myself talking over you, and then we yeah. have to stop. You know, and yeah. <laughs> but but, but we'll work it out. Like, yeah, if if it's if it's complicated for you do, to do the editing, I think I might be able to do that rather quickly. Actually, no, no, I it's know, cool. I, actually, with, I've done it before. You are okay, okay, that's fine. It's not that long, and okay. I quite enjoy it actually. Okay, but, um, me too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just empties the brain, and it has to be. Yeah, nice, totally. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. really it is it's a like nice mixing. thing to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great, um, great. Thanks, thanks so much for for inviting me. Yeah, man. Thank you for listening to the Jazz Violin Podcast. Um, I've been Matt Holborn. We've been talking to Alexandra Tripodi. Um, please like and subscribe. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. You can find us on all the podcasting platforms, pretty much all of them, I think, all the ones that I know. Um, also, we have got a new Facebook page, um, and it would be great if uh, you could like it because we... Uh, well, I, I keep saying we, but it is just me. Um, I try to update it regularly, and I try to put some different little snippets on there, different things, different pieces of information that you might not get elsewhere about the podcast. So, um, yeah, please just find us online. If you've got any questions, queries, um, problems, uh, whatever, just send me an email. Um, I'm always happy to hear from people about the podcast so my email address is uh, mattholborn88 at gmail.com um yeah please keep listening if you keep listening and downloading i'll keep making them and um, we've got some uh, pretty cool people lined up for next month um but i'm not going to say too much about that yet all right thank you very much goodbye